gang, this is Andy. Welcome to another episode of Driving with Andy. I'm on my way to Temecula right now, and uh, I know many people wonder, why do you make these videos while you're driving? Well, it just seems that I have my, my best ideas when I'm driving. Well, at least to me, they're my best ideas. I'm really, uh, I, you know, I'm getting positive feedback, but um, I'm not 100% sure you guys agree with me. But um, on my reflection of this drive down to Temecula, I began thinking about the last couple weeks, and uh, I've been very fortunate. I've been uh, doing a lot of stuff uh, in, the, in the media, um, interview with Orange County Register, uh, filming with National Geographic, and then today we had an interview with a magazine. And then on top of that, our training on Saturday, all of it had a common theme that I, I seem to be talking about a lot about the relationship between a dog and, a, and the handler. And the relationship is the key word there, and that sometimes I think gets lost in, in dog training. Uh, that we're, we have to first look at this time that we're spending with this animal as a relationship. Uh, and it's not unlike any other relationship we, we may have. Uh, if you're just to look at, is it easier to work on your marriage uh, if you are in a positive, love and respectful relationship? Or is it easier when you are full of hate and disregard for the other person? Now, I'm hoping you're going to say <laughs> that it's much easier when, when we're coming from a place of love and respect. Uh, just look back at your when you first met your wife or your, your husband and all the fireworks that were present, all the good feelings and how you love that little accent that they have or the way that they said a certain thing or the way that they walked or the way that they did certain things and how cute it was and how much it just, it, it seemed to be, well, that's the thing that I love for, you know, for, you know, being with him. And then later on, as things begin to develop and you, uh, you know, get deeper in a relationship and get married, those very same things that used to be cute drive you crazy. And it's those things that just bring this rage that you've never felt before. And if you look back, hey, I used to love that. And I used to, when we hang up at night, we'd say, no, no, you hang up. And no, you hang up. No, you hang up first. And then you'd fall asleep and then somebody would uh, soon be snoring. And, uh, and it would still be great. But now, not the same. Uh, it's the same thing with our dogs. Uh, with our dogs, uh, when we first get them, everything is cool. Um, when they lick you on the face, it's cool. When they jump on you, you know, you just think it's so cute. And when they run out in the backyard and run around and, and try not to get caught and all that kind of stuff, it, it's just really, really cute and fun. And then we, we work with them and we play with them and everything seems to be fine. But later on, that relationship gets a little worn down. Uh, it's not so cute when they run out the front door and they won't come to you. It's not so cute when they jump on you and they got muddy paws. It's not so cute when they're licking your face and, and biting you with those sharp little teeth. All right, and, and you're then from that point of view, you're trying to train them and it just goes downhill very fast because we're doing it from a different point of view. We're doing it from a, a little bit of a disdain and uh, in that kind of relationship, it's just not possible to have a positive outcome. All right, so uh, let's go back um, when you're working with your dog to a time when you loved your dog and you like being with them and work from that point of view. Now this may take a little bit of work because maybe your dog has worn you down uh, to the point where you're saying this is the dog's last chance. If they don't get this, then they're gone. Um, you're going to have to try to put all that be behind you. You're going to have to try, try to change your perspective and really look at the time you spend with your dog as a positive thing. Make it a getaway from all the other stresses in your life and things will go a lot better. So let's just reset. Take yourself back. Meditate. Pray. Um, I don't know what you have to do. Have a drink <laughs> and start from that point of, wow, I really love spending time with my dog and it's so cute when they do this, but I really want them to do this instead and, and try from that point of view. All right. Try to train from a point of love and respect and you'll get a lot further along. Uh, you'll get to more rewards and more petting and more uh, positive times with your dog than uh, you would if you're coming from the point of disdain and, and hate and anger. All right. Well, I hope that helps. And uh, stay tuned for another episode of Driving with Andy. I'll work on all the audio problems that happens when I hit bumps while I'm driving. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is happening, but uh, I'll try to fix that. And yes, oh, you can't see the baby seat. Michelle, I want to point out that I think it's more manly. As a matter of fact, you're more manly if you have a baby seat, in, baby seat inside your truck. And you're more manly when you can talk, apparently. All right. Take care, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.